In this video, I'm going to be showing you the true power of General Shao. What a master General Shao looks like. All of these matches are gonna be in rank. So you already know people are sweating. They're trying to climb the ranks. And we are gonna destroy them with quote unquote one of the worst characters in the game. If you're liking what you're seeing, man, subscribe to the channel and like the video. It helps me grow in more ways than one. Alright, in the first match, we're actually using Motaro, and we're gonna stick with Motaro the entire video, because I tried out other other cameos. Last time we used Serena, and we were able to get a few, like, I think it was like 30 to 35 extra damage. Uh, but Motaro just makes him such a better character, like, overall. And his damage already goes to like 36, 37, which I'm completely okay with. So we stuck with Motaro this time. Now, when I tell you I am the G in General Shao, I am the G in General Shao. Um, you will see some crazy things like anti-airs, like us using up block and punishing people for 40% just because they jumped. Like, we're doing some crazy things out here. Now, a lot of people were saying in my tier list video that General Shao doesn't have enough range to be that high up. I don't know what kind of crack they're smoking, but General Shao definitely has range. Like, he's not top in the range. Like, the right call has the most range in the game, but General Shao definitely has range. What, what the hell was that, Ed Boon? Ed Boon, you're selling my bag! How in the world could I not grab an opponent who was looking at me with his forearms up while his butthole is pluckering, going pulsating up and down, and I couldn't grab him? What the whole isn't the whole point of a grab to grab somebody who's blocking? Oh well, though you know it is what it is. We're moving on to the next round, and we're not gonna think about it. And that's exactly why I picked up Motaro as my cameo because he tried to zone me out, and I just teleported right behind him and got a nice little thirty-four percent. Off of that, um, if you guys didn't know, that standing 2 right there is plus. So if you are a general Shao player, just throw that standing 2 out there once and then try to make another move after that. They will always try to, like, you know, poke you out of it. But as long as, you know, it's not a super, super slow move, you'll get the, you'll get the pressure and the string off uh, right after the standing 2. And we armor through that pressure and we get the win. Now, I'm also not showing you the full sets. Because most of the time I'm winning 3-0 or 3-1, so they're not really that interesting. But the interesting ones I am showing you, um, this Molina was outrageous. I don't know, they just kept throwing out their rolls. And I kind of understand it, Molina's the next character I'm working on when it comes to video-wise. So, yeah, off that roll you can get like a nice 44% like easily. So, if you're a good Molina player, I can see the temptations, but it is just so not worth it. We get a nice little 316, and the reason I went for the axe throw early is so I can get her in the corner. But she ends up grabbing me and putting me right outside in the mid range, anyways. We break that. That is a horrible breaker, by the way. I was only breaking it to try to get some clips for you guys, but in a real game, you do not want to break that. Now, I don't know if this Molina was playing with two left hands when it comes to the frost usage because they kept throwing out the wrong frost move. I'm pretty sure they meant to do slide. I don't know, Molina's a brand new character they just picked up, but they, uh, they're doing that little, like, frozen orb thing, full screen, and it doesn't even reach past mid-screen, so I don't know why they were doing that. We get another punish, 31%, um, without any cameos, by the way. That move is ridiculous. I don't care what anybody says. I know it costs two bars, 
but that move is ridiculous. I was in the air jumping over that, and I thought I did, unless un until she teleported on top of me and uh, made me her bit. Now, if you guys are using Motaro, the only reason I was able to get that Fatal Blow off is while you're holding your right bumper, okay? Your cameo button. While you're holding your cameo button and you do a fatal blow, your cameo will actually attack instead of you. So Motaro attacked for me and I ended up getting the 44% easily. Now, I just started working on the Melina video, and if you guys are struggling to play against Melina, she doesn't have a low starter at all. So just always block high until the second string, then she might have a mix-up where it goes to a low aura, aura overhead. Um, but they're different moves, so it is reactable to an extent. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to blur that one out. That is the most graphic brutality I have seen in this game. So this is the match before um, the match I just showed you. I only showed that one first because it has uh, brutality in it. Um, I believe this one I'm just playing a little like mid-range. And uh, once again she uses the frost wrong and we get a nice little 34% off of it. 36, my bad, 36. And then another, you know, obvious roll. And we get another punish off of it. 37%? What is that? 720% in 10 seconds. And then another 120. That was literally 940% damage in 10 seconds. That is insane. Now we are just absolutely waffle stomping him. If you guys don't know what a waffle stomp is, it, it means you poop in the shower and then you stomp on it so it goes down the drain. And that's exactly what we did to this man. Okay, in the next match we end up facing a Johnny Cage. You know, it won't be a Mortal Kombat video unless you face a Smoke, a Johnny Cage, a Scorpion, or who else is hot? Raiden? Yeah, Raiden? Yeah, that's about right. Um, it literally wouldn't be a Mortal Kombat video. But that little cameo that I'm about to do right there, that's a low. So it, it mixes a lot of people up because people don't know how to play against Motaro that much. No, nobody really plays Motaro unless you're a Shao main. So it, 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 people really don't expect it as much. We're just going to try to put some pressure on him, get some chip. Um, he's not pressing any buttons, so I take advantage of that and I start going for my standing two. And I start abusing it a lot here. And I just started using my plus frames against him because he just doesn't know when to attack me. I'm guessing he hasn't played against a Shao. And this guy's combat league record was actually really good too. I think he was like, he only lost like two games. Now, for whatever reason, my lunch didn't come out. I actually meant to do a lunch right there, but he just kept going. I don't know if that was the player two glitch. But it could have just been a missed input, but it, I genuinely have never missed that before, so I was kind of confused. But, oh, this would have been a, such a sick conversion, but he breaks it. I'd be lying to you if I said I meant to do that. I just panically pressed down down two and it just worked out. Now in the next match, I also do what is called a waffle stomping and this Lime gets absolutely waffle stomped. And uh, just, she tries to zone me out here a lot. And you know, again, Xiao has no range by the way.
you do have to give this guy some props. He's using Lee Mei in Combat League, and I do believe Lee Mei is one of the worst characters in the game. Um, and he's he's not terrible at all, but I did end up figuring him out. This was the third match. I believe the it was 2-0 right now, and I had him completely figured out. He was doing the same exact thing. He was never mixing things up. So I'm surprised that this move right here hit. I was not expecting it to hit. I was more so just doing it so he would just back off a little. Now I try to do the little tree chomp move, if you guys know General Shao's moveset, you know what I'm talking about. It's pretty much he spawns the hammer in his hand, then he goes for a little chop. I just thought it would look cool, but it didn't come out. And then we zone out the zoner, because he said let's go full screen, so I said let's do it back. And he just couldn't handle the Motaro and Shao combo. In the final match, we ended up facing the Scorpion, and a lot of this match is actually cut because he went full screen and spammed Spear like the other 60% of Scorpions out there. But, you know, he paid for the game, so he can play however he wants. We ended up getting up close, and that's when he really tried struggling, and he couldn't, like, really do much. He didn't know his stagger strings that well. Um, he was depending on Serena and that little sweep a lot. And for whatever reason, that grab didn't connect again. Ed Boon is selling my bag a lot. Now, in this match, he actually ended up jumping a lot, so I was trying to anti air him a lot, but he kept going for the kicks. So I had the bright idea to try to do up blocks and they actually ended up working a lot because he just kept spamming kicks so I couldn't get the real anti-airs off and you'll see those later on too. But he just kept going for grabs, it worked so he kept going for them. Right there I tried to anti-air and I couldn't get it done. He gets I believe a 30-40% combo off of this just because Serena, Serena. Oh so it's a 32% not terrible at all. I up block right there and get a full punish. And damn, 37-38% off of a punish. And then he breaks the combo. Um, I think that would have actually gotten him so low. Uh, then we use the little low string for Motaro again. Nobody really ever expects it. And then we get the win off of the low and overhead. It was just too easy. And we load up into the third match. It was 0-2. And, and look at what he does. I mean, I would too, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. I would too. I, he really couldn't get anything going for him. Instead of giving my opponent the pleasure of seeing a quitality, I would have just forfeited the set. But that's gonna be it for today. Let me know down below what characters you want to see next. And if you liked what you saw, like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow in more ways than one.